This is San Miguel Tecomatlán, a small village about 100 kilometers southeast from Mexico City. The church here had to close its doors after the earthquake. Most houses are built with bricks made of mat and straw, known as adobe. This made them especially vulnerable. Lots of houses made of adobe have collapsed. Apparently, we're exactly on the earthquake's fault line. Most houses here are old and made of adobe. Leticia's house was also completely destroyed. She knows it will have to be torn down. This is a huge loss for us, emotionally too, but now we're even more united, more than ever. Her neighbor, Miguel Martinez, is still trying to salvage things of value from the rubble. We used to just have a roof made of these big dried leaves we brought down from the mountains. So when they finally got a tiled roof, that was a huge improvement for our parents. The devastated house is much more than a material loss for him. This is their work. Not only my parents' work, but also my grandparents. Thank God we're at least alive. His daughter, Sonia, was born and grew up in this house. I was born here. I lived here during my childhood. I have beautiful memories. Now she'll have to help her father rebuild it. Government help has barely arrived in the periphery of Mexico City. The main help here comes from civilians. Among those arriving to help are students and teaching staff from universities and schools in other towns and cities. We didn't want to stand around doing nothing. We were planning to go to Mexico City, but then we noticed the villages in the countryside were much more in need of our help. So here we are. This village has never witnessed such distraction, but people here were lucky. They have been spared the deaths suffered in Mexican capital. And here everyone hopes to have a home again. Very soon.